Hey guys, Sundar here from C40 Tech, and earlier today, Xiaomi announced the Mi 5X, another mid-ranger with some flagship qualities that, like most Xiaomi phones, seems to offer great value for money. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through all that you need to know about the Xiaomi Mi 5X. So let's get right into it. Let's get the obvious out of the way first. Yes, the exterior looks like an iPhone 7, but then there are only so many ways a metallic back with rounded edges can be made, and while uninspired, the design on the Mi 5X does look quite clean and well done. Interestingly, Xiaomi made it a point to highlight the anti-fingerprint coating on the back of the phone. Is it just an oleophobic layer, or have they treated the metal differently to not smudge up is something we cannot tell without having the phone in our hands. So if you guys want us to get our hands on the Mi 5X, smash that thumbs up button and let us know. We'll try to grab one as soon as we can. Now moving on from the design to what's inside, the chip powering the Mi 5X is the same octa-core Snapdragon 625 that we've seen powering quite a few mid-ranges this year. Xiaomi themselves have used it on the Redmi 4 Prime, the Redmi Note 4, and most recently the Mi Max 2. The 625 has been a very good performer on these phones, and while the Mi 5 exports only a 3080mAh battery by comparison, that's approximately at least about 1000mAh lesser than what's on these phones, the 625 is very battery friendly and should easily last you through a day on a single charge. At least that's what Xiaomi's track record indicates. As far as memory goes, the Mi 5X comes with 4GB of RAM with 64GB of onboard storage to back it up. No word on if the storage is expandable. With rare exceptions like the Mi 4S and the Mi Max series, the Mi series has largely not had microSD support, so we won't be holding our breath on that. Given that even the Mi Max 2 got Type-C support, the Mi 5X does too. We've got a USB Type-C port at the bottom with fast charging, a fingerprint sensor at the back, and the display is a 5.5-inch Full HD panel. This is a very interesting development in my honest opinion. These days, most brands' flagship phones sport a 5.5-inch or larger display. Xiaomi's almost been the only exception. Yes, the Mi 5X is not a flagship, but to see Xiaomi go 5.5 inch here, is that an indication of things to come? Will the Mi 6X or Mi 6S or whatever come out with a 5.5 inch panel? What's your preferred screen size for a Xiaomi flagship? 5, 5.1, 5.5 plus? Here's a bowl, let me know. Anyway, moving on, Xiaomi also boasted about the sound capabilities of this device, as they have packed in what seems to be a standalone amplifier for headphone output, as well as put in some DHS sound magic in the software. Now let us come to the part that actually sets this phone apart from the rest of the pack. It's dual 12 megapixel cameras at the back. This is basically the same camera setup that we've seen before in this year's flagship Mi 6. It is quite a capable camera setup, and if you're interested to know more about them, we have an in-depth review of the shooters on the Mi 6. In a nutshell, this camera setup is similar to the one we find in the iPhone 7 and the OnePlus 5, where there is one camera with a telephoto lens that gives lossless 2x optical zoom, as well as provides a nice bokeh effect when capturing portraits. Xiaomi did a decent job with the bokeh effect for the portrait mode on the Mi 6, and we hope they continue to improve upon that with the Mi 5X, especially given that it'll be coming with the all-new MIUI 9. Speaking of MIUI 9, we'll be bringing you in-depth coverage on it. So if you're curious to see what new features the Mi 5X will bring, I'll leave a card here once that video is up. So finally, let's talk price. This is what got me most excited, because at 1499 yuan or 220 US dollars, the Mi 5X is definitely shaping up to be a capable mid-ranger with killer optics. Translated to Indian rupees, the price is around the 14500 mark, but details of if Xiaomi will launch it here in India are as always unclear. Considering that they have stayed away from launching higher priced variants like the Mi 6 and the Mi Notes in this price sensitive Indian market, this mid ranger might turn out to be their Indian flagship of the year. Fingers crossed on that one. But then these are just my thoughts on Xiaomi's latest device. Are you guys excited about this mid ranger? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you haven't smashed that thumbs up button yet, do it now. And subscribe to C4A Tech for more videos like this. Also do this to make sure you get notified each time a video goes live on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.